Hey guys, it is the last day of 24 Days of DIY Candy Kits. Today I thought I'd do something special. I picked up this candy house, snack house. It's not a gingerbread house, but it is kind of a chocolate house from Lotte. So it's gonna feature Koala March, Topo, and lots of fun stuff. And I thought this would be a great way to end the series. So let's check this out. I grabbed this at my local mall for about $12. First thing in here is a background sheet featuring the koalas. Koala March, which are kind of like Hello Pandas, basically. And then crunky wafers. Crunky chocolates are the best. Topo, which I personally like better than Pocky. I know, that's blasphemy, but I really like Topo. And then we have two bars of milk chocolate, Ghana milk chocolate. So, I actually did try to film this video last night after we went to a Christmas party and I looked at these instructions and there were too many like measurements and stuff going on. I'm like, I'm gonna do this in the morning. So, here we are. First of all, we're gonna need to take care of the chocolate. It's very puzzle-like and I was just too exhausted last night to deal with it. So I'm gonna go boil some water and gather the tools that I need and we'll get started. Water is boiling and I have my Donald cutting board here. Do you guys remember when I first got this years ago? It's getting a little old, so if you've seen any cute cutting boards, send me a link and I'll think about replacing it. Let's open these up and see if I can figure out this chocolate puzzle. Yum, chocolate. I believe we need to make a cut here. Oh, that cracks, okay. And a cut here. Oh no, that cracked too. I wonder if I should just break them and not cut them. Cause that's for the roof. That shouldn't be like that. This piece kind of is okay. And then I need these two, the top here for the window. There we go. So the window pieces are okay. And this piece, it's not the best, but it's okay. So I'm gonna set those, oops, aside. See, that broke off. But it's chocolate, so it will go back together. Those are the pieces we're gonna use on the house. And this is the piece that I need to chop up. That should be good enough. That should melt pretty quickly. So I'm going to grab the other bar of chocolate and I'm just gonna split this one in half. This may go very badly, but I'm gonna just try breaking it. Oop. I think that went better than cutting it. So I'm gonna set this aside and we'll chop this piece up as well. As far as chocolate bars go, I'm gonna have to say that I really like Meiji chocolate bars because they have the perfect texture. You know how these are in little blocks? The inside of the block is super thin, so when you take a bite out of it, it has this nice little crack, and it's not too much chocolate in your mouth. Like, if that makes sense, you know, it's not overpowering it's milk chocolate. Ramblings from a chocolate lover. For the most part though, I usually don't like pure chocolate. I like chocolate flavored things, but I'm not the hugest fan of eating just blocks of chocolate. Except for dark chocolate. Dark chocolate's the best. That looks pretty good, and I think the water boiled, so I will be right back. I'm back, and this is still too hot, so I'm gonna set it aside, and we're going to work on the other parts. Now the next part is the scary part. So it has all these measurements, six centimeters, 2.5, 2.5, five centimeters. They're like, here's a ruler to use as your guide. So I'll do my best. <laughs> I have my crunky wafer here. Crunky ice cream bars are the best, by the way. <laughs> Looks like we have one wafer in here. Oh, they're tiny. So it needs to be six centimeters tall. Is that six centimeters? Yeah, I guess it is. Then I cut this off and it's the roof. It needs to be 3.5 centimeters high. So like around there. And then the width is already five centimeters, so I don't need to do anything. I just need to cut it at an angle. It's probably not gonna be perfect, but this is me, so we're gonna go with it. Use this as a guide and just do the same thing. There we go. So that's the first one. And then we do the same thing with this one. And repeat. 
Now with this one, I need to cut it, oops, that was a little too much of an angle. I need to cut it here. And then down the middle. The measurements may not be correct, but that's about right. And next we'll work on the top wall. This should be easy enough. Let's open these up. And I wonder how many packs I'm gonna need. Okay, a lot of these are broken. Hopefully they're gonna be fine. This is a very small house. I need six six centimeter, actually 12 six centimeters. So basically half, I think. Yeah, because they're a little over 12. So we need six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. There I have six full-size ones. And then I need a five, four, three centimeter. So five, four, three probably should be okay. And then I need four, two centimeters. So that should be good. It's a little more than two, but we're just gonna go for it. Then use that as a guide. So there are our four two centimeters. Then I guess we'll trim these down. Okay, so we have our two centimeters, five, four, three, and then we need the six centimeters. These are like 13 centimeters each, but I'm just gonna cut them all in half. Probably should not do them all at once, but hey, I'm going for it because I'm me. Okay, so I think the prep is done and now we can start melting the chocolate. This should be an okay temperature. I don't have like a thermometer or anything, but it'll be fine. Chocolate is melted and the instructions talked about tempering, putting it over ice water, heating it up again and stuff, but I think this is just glue, so I'm not gonna do that. First, I'm gonna glue these guys together. This one next. And then I'm gonna put chocolate on the bottom of the triangle. And then place it right there. Now I'm supposed to let these harden and then we can put the house together and put it on the base. Gonna have to break this up into multiple steps. I'm back, it's been about oh, maybe 15 minutes. They look like they are okay. I did struggle with the house when I was putting it in the fridge. It started to fall apart. Now I believe we flip this over and we put the little windows on. One here and one here. Now, now it looks like we put all of this together. So, these two are not the same, but that's okay. We're gonna have a little lopsided house. I'm gonna put chocolate on the side here and the other side as well. That just fell apart, but that actually might be for the best because we can make it a little wider. And on this side. It's not the most beautiful house, but it will do. I'm gonna pop this back into the fridge, and while we're at it, I'll reconnect this piece. A little bit of chocolate glue. There we go. There is always a solution, guys. I went ahead and made the chimney and the front step as well. I am back. Still looks kind of like a hot mess, but we're gonna sort this out. I did add some hot water to the chocolate. I almost said hot chocolate. Hot chocolate sounds really good right now. I'm gonna move these aside, we'll set this here. I'm mainly worried about getting the roof attached. I feel like it's just gonna slide off. But if we use enough chocolate glue, it should be okay. Let's set the house on top of that. Now I'm gonna take some more chocolate. Maybe we should do one side at a time. Let's use the broken piece first. That way if it falls off, it won't feel that bad. I know that there are people that can do this much better than I can, but I'm actually having fun doing this and I think that's all that matters. Let's take this side. Maybe I'll use one of these as like a little roof lining. Actually, that will hide the mess very nicely. Let's see if I can attach this chimney. I think I was supposed to cut these at an angle. That's not working, hold on. Still a little crooked, but it works. 
And the front step, I guess we can attach that too. And there we go. I'm gonna go pop this in the fridge again, then we can do our final decorating. I'm back. It's been a few hours. I had to make a bank run, and then Lorianne wanted to go out, and it's it's been a day. So here is my little house. It's looking pretty good. I'm impressed. So I feel like we should use the koala march just because it's in the kit. So we'll put one on the doorstep, and then I have a chocolate pen, and we'll do a little decorating. Look, it's a party! I'm assuming it's the same for Hello Panda. We actually don't have Hello Panda here. Um, that they all have different faces. Is there like a Christmassy looking one? That one's reading a book. <laughs> There's like a little baby one. Look at that. That's cute. Here's a little cheerleader. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter which one. Oh, there's one already going in the house. I'm gonna dip it in the chocolate over here off camera. You can't see, but if you believe it, it's there. Chocolate feet. We're just gonna set them on the doorstep here. I'm just gonna do like a little swoopy swoop, kind of like Christmas lights, I think. I guess technically Christmas lights should be down here, but here, I'll do like a few rows. I grabbed a bag of sprinkles at the supermarket. We can use these. I should get a little plate, but I'm just gonna pour them out here and pick them out. This chocolate's hardening really fast. Let me dab these on here. Should have done it one row at a time. Then maybe we can put a few hearts down here. It's Christmas day. I'm doing the best I can. Again, not perfection, but it works. Anyway, BRB, let me clear this plate off and then we'll take a close look at it. Ja -ja! I am back. Here is the front view, the side view, the back view, could have put a koala or something on there, and the other side view. You know, for doing this by myself in a slight rush, I don't hate it. Anyway, this brings us to the end of our 24 days of DIY candy kits. I hope you enjoyed it. Gotta start thinking what I want to do next year. I will be having more videos on this channel this year, so if you're not already subscribed, please do. It means a lot, a lot to me, especially since I've been so inactive. I'm gonna do my best to film as many videos as I can for this channel and my other two channels, which, if you don't know about, are food related and craft related, so it would mean a bunch to me if you subscribe to them as well. Anyway, I hope you leave me a comment down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye!